everyone. My name is Angela Don Giovanni and I live at 559 Oak Street. Uh, I wanted to talk today about pride. Pride is about confidence and self-respect. So how can we expect any person who identifies as LGBTQ plus to feel pride when individuals in our own community turn a blind eye to who they really are and force them to make a horrible choice? Either be who you are in the light of day but feel as though you have a target on your back, or to hide yourself and remain living your life in the dark. Recognizing diversity is key to our community's collective success. Sexual orientation, gender origin, and gender identity all play an important part in our own individual lives, and they play an important role in adding to diverse perspectives that improve our community as a whole. I would like to see Indiana Borough commemorate Pride Month by raising the rainbow flag and, in turn, raising the confidence, self-respect, and aiding in the healing of the LGBTQ plus community. I'd like to leave you all with these final words. I'm proud to be an American, or at least I know I'm free, because the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away from me. Please help us make these words true for all individuals in our community, ensuring that pride isn't just for certain people, but rather for all people. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Ashley Wolf. I live at 716 Water Street. Um, and I'm here because I just had a little bit that I wanted to say about the Pride Festival. Um, so, in case anyone forgot, there's this thing we have called the First Amendment of the United, or the First Amendment of the Constitution, which clearly states that we have freedom of religion in this country, and freedom of religion also means freedom from religion. There are nearly 8 billion other people on this earth, and not a single one of them are obligated to act or dress how you want them to. You don't get to dictate what everyone else is doing with their lives based on your personal religious beliefs. If your argument is that you don't want a drag show on Philadelphia Street because you don't want yourself or your children to see, to see it, well, guess what? I see things every single day, that all day, that I do not agree with, but yet I have no right to tell somebody else how to live their life as long as they aren't hurting anyone or hurt, hurting anyone's property. As long as that's, as long as you're not doing that, I move on with my life. Um, I was born in this town. I was born in IRMC Hospital and I've lived here my whole life. And I want this event. My friends want this event. I've had so many calls, text messages, and emails from community members, businesses, and even the state police asking how they can help. I don't think everyone in the crowd realizes just how much harm it would cause for the drag show to not take place. And I think some people want to deny the fact that LGBTQ plus people even exist in this town. Well, we are here. We are your friends. We are your children. We are your fellow community members. And we have just as much right to exist in public as you do. And we are done hiding ourselves to make you more comfortable whenever we have never felt comfortable. And that's what this is all about, and we won't stop fighting. Thank you. Um, remind me, you said you were going to say that this event has been approved. It has been, yes. Um, and it's not, it's not right. up for the The reason why some of us up here tonight was because we heard there might be opposition and that there might be an appeal filed, so that's why we are here tonight. Why are you laughing, Jessica? I was wondering the exact same thing. Do you think it's that fun? No, his that? comment about it's happening tonight, I was in agreement that, it, that this event is happening in here, and I was wondering the same question. I, there's no one to tell me it's coming from. Thank you. Who, so you've laughed many times, you've laughed many times. Damn, I'm not even talking There was no laughter. This event is happening, it's been voted for, and we are happy that everyone is going to be Are you the one who got the petition going? I don't know about the petition. I need to address it. I was called at 10.30 last week by Poop. This is not a comment. I'm just commenting. This is not part of the comment. Neither is what you said. Our point is to gather support. Please. Good job. Are there other people?
other members of the public who would like to address the council? Hello, all. I am Kat. I've been on here before, uh, but today I'm coming up as an individual member of the community, not anyone who's related with the outhouse, but as nothing more than, as I've said before, your neighbor. Many people recently have asked uh, where has this group come from, and I just want to reiterate that we come from here, and we've grown up here all whole lives. Uh, recently, we have had religion and personal morals being used against us, and being used to belittle and try to rape an entire community. <laughs> that is realistically more meaningful than any personal belief, and I say this as a practicing Christian myself. I have over half a decade as a member of the Forest Hills Church. I have some quotes I wanted to read tonight as well. against discrimination, I do hope that the council would uphold their oaths and laws which all citizens within our nation must abide by. And I want to personally add to that that no personal set of morals, true or false, outweigh the constitution of our country. We have a right to be here. And on behalf of religion, I do want to say this quote. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for all of you are one in Jesus Christ. And also, I want to, with the little bobble that just happened here, I want to urge all of you, please continue to work together. Like I said before, this is not our side versus their side. This is all of us. We are more than willing to continue working with y'all. Like, we've worked with um, Mr. Divisor here. He had asked us to put content ratings on our events, and we are more than open to that. And not only, Mr. Divisor, are we going to do that for you, but we're going to do that for all events because we are now. And um, if anyone else, has any concerns, we're more than willing to work with y'all on that too. But um, like I have said, up until now, we have all we have done all that is required and gone through all of the loopholes. Um, we've done more than that uh, in some regards. And regardless, we are going to be having an event on June 10th. And I just want to address the concerns of safety. Up until now, even the people speaking in opposition to the event, their concerns are not from safety. Our, we have no in, ill intent uh, intentions towards anyone, nothing violent, nothing harmful, nothing slanderous, nothing at all. We want to promote nothing but community, not only with our community, but all of our community. And <clears throat> with saying that, I just want to say, um, you know, the event will be going on, and I do want to personally invite, you know, our words can only go so far. Please allow us the freedom and the space of showing y'all with actions that we will stick to our word. and drag like any other art form such as movies or plays or anything like that can be adjusted as per the audience and the ratings can be, you know, E for everyone, rated R, PG-13, whatever. Uh, we are all adults and we can adjust that and we're going to adjust it so it will be rated E for everyone and everything will be for the opinion. I just wanted to uh, touch on that again. And I also want to say, please smell the flag. Thank you. <laughs> Supposed to be giving your address, Jessica. 
That's part of the requirement of speaking. I don't know. Peter's the only one. Okay. Casey, I can hear him. Boom, boom. Peter's the only one. Boom. Why aren't you charging are Casey? Things, things are addressed as they're part of you. If you're the one. Okay. Well, she's the one who's speaking before I was. And so is Jessica. Well, apparently it is. If, if, as long as your address is given to the secretary, then we can discuss that. Thank you. Um, again, um, so this is addressing the, um, the event for June 10th that is planned that has already been spoken about. Um, I am part of the people that are speaking in opposition for safety of the community. Um, this is not a First Amendment issue. Uh, there are wording in the First Amendment, and there are wordings for such things like this. Obscenities and safety of minors is in the First Amendment. Uh, this organization <coughs> identifies itself sexually, everything with every single letter in it, and I will state from their own website what they shared about this particular event going on. This would be a family-friendly event, and all are welcome. Our goal being to provide the most visibility opportunity as possible for local members of the LGBTQIA plus community. As always, we are a community of pride, taking pride in our community, and we absolutely cannot wait to share this day with you and every year after. You said that I need to give you um, evidence. I was here last night. So the evidence is, is they are part of the pride in LGBTQ um, community. They, in their own wording, has said this. Every for the past few years, there has been thousands of these gatherings. I have yet to find one that has not had sexual-oriented gestures and things of that nature that are present within them. And I, I will even go further to read a justice opinion from Brennan that uh, specified what obscenity is and what, what these things mean. The dominant theme of the material taken as a whole appears to a pertinent interest in sex. The material is patently offensive because it affronts contemporary community standards relating to description or representation of sexual matters. The material is utterly without redeeming social value. You said, where have they else done these things publicly? They did it at IUP. It's on, you can see, you can see the recordings. It is sexually explicit. They are, it is designed to look sexual, everything about it. My goal here is not to attack these people. I, I'm not here to do that. I am here to identify what they are identifying themselves as. We need to identify them as what they are saying. They are sexually identifying themselves as a sexually identified organization. And that is how they perform. That is what they do. And that's fine. Everybody has the right to do it. But there is a place for that. And we have restrictions in this borough. You all have upheld a code to uphold what this borough has put in place for what is allowed and what is not allowed for sexually explicit material and how it is handled publicly or privately. You have all sworn an oath of both those things, and I hope that you will. May God bless you, and may his will be done in the Lord. Thank you. to the Summit Church, where we, where we care a great deal about Indiana, and work hard to make the community better for everyone who lives here. I'm ready to voice my concern over the recent developments regarding a potentially family-friendly drag show in our Anderson Park. One of our greatest responsibilities as a community is to protect those who are vulnerable. The most vulnerable in our community are our children. I don't believe the intentions of those advocating for this event to be nefarious, but I do believe that there will be will be real consequences for allowing this event in such a public place. I'm a firm advocate of the First Amendment, but I believe the First Amendment has limitations when it pertains to public decency and obscenity, especially when minors are involved. If this event were held at a bar, I would have no objection, but because of how public the event will be, people will be impacted negatively. 
I believe that pedestrians, including children, with no interest or knowledge of this event, will be subject to the performance aid. As I shared with the council member last week, if they were screening a movie with a PG-13 or R-rated or R rating at IMC Park, I would have the same concern. And, and although the organizers have made promises about what will be presented, that is not always in their control because the performers will have the final say. Again, my greatest concern is the safety of the kids in our community. Adults have the agency to do as they wish, and I don't want to force my convictions upon them. With that said, we have a responsibility to make sure that family and children in our community are safe from being sexualized or having an overt sexual message forced upon them. I don't normally weigh in on events like this, but I feel strongly that the safety and protection of our children is worth it. We'd like you to consider to reconsider approval of this event at RMC Park and consider another more private venue for this event that would offer more safety for the participants, pedestrians, and possibly reduce the cost for security to the neighborhood. Thank you for your time and consideration. Mel Massimo. Mel is a, I, I mean, he's kind of said, but he is a resident of the borough. I can't remember the exact address, but he doesn't say what it is. He's a, he's a, he's a, This one is short. Public comment, and it's a three-minute public comment. To the Indiana Borough Council, as a resident taxpayer who works here in Indiana Borough, I'm ready to express my concern for planned and advertised entertainment at events to be held at IMC Park on June 10, 2023. My specific concern is with the entertainment that has been promoted to take place at the event. While the event organizers advertise family-friendly entertainment, my question is who defines Whose definition of family friendly are we using as a standard? A quick visit to social media accounts of the organizing of those organizing the events raise legitimate concerns as to the organizers appear to often promote late events that are not advertised as family friendly. I believe a fair question to ask is who in the bureau is taking responsibility to make sure that this event is being held, sorry, make sure that this event being held on public property within the bureau will truly be family friendly and will not include adult entertainment. Thank you for taking the time to allow me to address my concerns in this letter. I believe I share a common desire with many others in the community <coughs> that any and all events held in IMC Park be those with truly family-friendly entertainment. Thank you, Benjamin Flowers, 31 South 12th Street, Indiana, Pennsylvania. I also have a letter I was asked to have read. I think the council received it via email from the individual asking for public comment. So this is a letter from John Warnock, Council member, as well as Alexander Clark, both of 1199 Water Street. Good evening, Council. I am disappointed to hear that Council will be discussing a ban on drag shows. Council should cease all activity related to this discussion immediately for the following reasons. It is clear, it's a clear violation of the First Amendment. The Borough Council has declared public support for the LGBTQIA plus community. Chief Shaw has publicly declared support for the LGBTQIA plus community. Borough Council has voiced their desire for a fruitful partnership with IUP, IUP as a drag club. Drag has raised millions of dollars for fire departments and libraries across Western Pennsylvania. Drag has always been performed here, but this discussion comes when it's, it's popular on the news. Please dis discontinue these efforts, John Jonathan and Alexander. Here I do have a letter, I'm not gonna read it, but it definitely identifies with what has already been discussed as far as concerns as the, the part event is exciting. The drag portion hopefully could be, if not G-rated, be private. So I'm not gonna go into it. This was Marv Nelson, who's a pastor of a local church. So I just wanted to address that it is here and I will submit it. Thank you. Is there anyone else you care to see this thing? All right. Hello, my name is Eli Reginus. I live at 94 Colonial Drive, down Philly Street. I spend most of my time up in Indiana. Uh, there are more 
dragon things than just saying we're going to have asexual lives for men. All of those have been in closed doors. I run security for them. We, we check IDs, we make sure that, that the amount of, or the, the people that are showing up are of age. Uh, the other thing that I would like to bring up are drag brunches, where the drag queens are just servers. It, it's showing a visual of a type of people in the community, rather than hiding them away from a community because of a, a certain view that say it's bad. Having a, a group that is, is in our community, hidden away, how does that, that help any, any young people that feel maybe they want to? The event doesn't say that everyone has to show up. If you don't like the event, you don't need to show up. We have advertised to say, this is going to happen on June 10th. We are not trying to be private about there being a dragon. to the First Amendment and Brennan. Uh, Brennan was actually extremely critical of limiting the rights of people to express themselves. I think we should give a little credit to the organizers who have told us this is a family-friendly event. So I think we understand that a family-friendly event is not going to have highly sexualized content. And if it does, the organizers are going to be shut down or not allowed to have this event in future. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't go anywhere near downtown during IUP pads, right? People get killed. Students get killed at that event. They die. There are suicides, right? There is harm that happens in our community that has nothing to do with, uh, you have a wedding band on. This person, okay, I'm just going to call it. I, I'm assuming this person probably has a sex life because they have an intimate partner. That has nothing to do with what I'm wearing, I, you know, how I express myself. So let's not conflate people, men or women, gay, trans, or straight, dressing up as we do on Halloween and for costume events as something nefarious. Also, if we're concerned, let's be clear about who perpetrates crimes against children. Statistically, it is cis white men. If we're gonna be concerned about children, let's look at the statistics national and in Pennsylvania about the 60% of crimes that are perpetrated against others are people that we know and typically cis white men. I don't think drag queens are the concern. I think a family-friendly event where we get to engage, maybe with difference, is a wonderful thing for our community. Also, hold the event or not, our drag brothers and sisters, our LBGTQIA brothers and sisters live, work, pay taxes in our community. So you can try to hide them away, but it's not obscene. Obscenity is, lewd, explicit, filthy pictures or words. There is nothing lewd or filthy about somebody with some fly makeup, hair, and glitter. I'm sorry, it's a costume. Keep it in its place, it's a costume. Family-friendly event where people are going to wear costumes. Thank you.
Hi everybody, Bailey Nace, uh, 655 Plum Street uh, in the NFBA. Uh, here to speak because, well, I had to drag my sick kiddo here who's sitting there, poor kid, because apparently we are gonna talk about people wearing dresses and if that's okay or not. And we're gonna try and limit their free speech. We are gonna try and limit the LGBTQ community in here. We're going to try and limit diversity. As a trans human with a trans daughter, I am upset that this is even a discussion, okay? People wanna come from religious backgrounds to say things and that's fine. Don't come. It's already been stated, don't come. If you don't agree with it, don't come. You folks though, you like to talk about money. Borough Council, you want Indiana to thrive. You want to see it to thrive? Accept diversity. Bring in more people. You're going to do so by collaborating with IUP and other diverse groups. What you're doing is trying to stifle them. If you want to be a town that is eventually going to be a ghost then keep going down the road where you want to go against pride and people speaking up and just wanting to be themselves. Me and my child just want to live. We just want to be ourselves at home currently. We want to be on the couch, snuggled up, probably watching a movie just like any other family because currently we're dealing with the virus, so definitely would spray down on myself. <laughs> okay? That's all. We're just typical normal people. And every once in a while we want to celebrate because the reason that people want to celebrate this is because we are attacked throughout the, you've seen, I've seen the Florida bills. That is not what Indiana should be. Indiana should be a safe space for everyone. Safe for everybody. We shouldn't be picking and choosing. It's not a cherry pick fest. It should be safe for everybody. My seven-year-old should not be attacked by adults. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I would encourage you to keep that in mind. If the group says it's going to be family friendly, it's going to be family friendly. And if not, as said, then you put consequences for it. Otherwise, there shouldn't even be a discussion. It's already been passed. And the fact that people are coming up here, and as somebody already mentioned, cis white males are your typical targets of sexual. He's sexual. Y'all, look up sex and look up gender. Google it. Okay? Google it. Google it. We can go. Come on, kiddo. Thank you. Thank you.